We are up at Lake Oroville where lake levels are higher than they have been in a very long time. I am with Department of Water Resources' Jenna Frazier and Jenna, are we out of the drought? The blanket statement for the most part would be no, but yes. <laughs> the, according to the drought index, we've got maybe 30% of the state has what they refer to as come out of drought. We're, we're kind of right on that border of being out of drought, but we still have 56 to 70 percent of the state is still in extreme or exceptional drought. So we're the head of the state water project. We have water in our reservoir. We've had rain and snow falling, but it, it doesn't mean we're in the clear yet. So we still are urging that you conserve water. And snowpack plays a big role in terms of drought and in terms of water. It's kind of like having money in the, in the bank snowpack, correct? Correct. Speak about that and why maybe the snowpack right now is not ideal. The snowpack is what we call our water bank. We fill, the lake will fill with rainwater coming in, the inflow coming in, but we want to see heavy snow in the Sierra Nevadas. Our watershed is about 4,000 square miles on the western side of the Sierra Nevadas. We want to see a really heavy snowpack. The trick is, because earlier this week we were at 168 percent of historical average for snow depth, but January 3rd when we went in and we did the first manual snow survey, we actually do a mathematical extrapolation of we, we kind of weigh the snow. We want to see what the water content is. And we're only at about 58% of historical average. We're, we're, not, we're just barely halfway in water content in that snow where we should be historically. So the snow, what it comes down to is think of a big sponge. If the sponge is full of water, our snowpack, then as that snow melts, you get a heavy inflow into the reservoir. We're letting water out, but the lake stays kind of level or it will drop very, very slowly. If that sponge or snowpack is drier, we don't get that inflow. Okay. It's, there's, it's for the skiers and for people who want to play in the snow, it's perfect. It's that dry powder snow. But for us, we want that wet, heavy snow where you, you make a snowball and you knock somebody out with it. You, you, we want that heavy, wet snow because that's where that water content's gonna be. Right now, we don't have that. And I think people may be surprised that it's actually, the snowpack is just as important as rain, if not more important. It's about the same week because we rely on that rain flow, the rain fall and inflow to fill the reservoir. But even if we have a full reservoir like last year, we, we got real close to full. And, but it was only for a short while because we had no snowpack. So there was nothing melting to inflow into the reservoir. So the reservoir dropped very rapidly, which makes people very unhappy. So this year we're hoping that as we let water out, we'll have snow melting into it. So the lake will either stay stable for a period of time or it will drop very slowly. 